Hi and welcome students. In today's computer fundamentals video, I'm going to be going over web applications. We're going to cover what a web application is, its differences from a desktop application, and then finally go over some of the pros and cons to using web applications. Let's get started. So first off, what is a web app or a web application? App is just short for applications, and web app software is application software that runs on a web browser, unlike software programs that run locally and natively on the operating system of the device. Web applications are delivered on the World Wide Web to users with an active network connection. So when we're talking about web apps, we can differentiate them from desktop applications. Desktop applications are installed on your computer. It doesn't require any internet connection to install and the or to use the application rather and some examples of this would be the uh, Microsoft Office 2016 application if you had that installed on your computer this would go for other Microsoft Office versions as well except for any version that is a web app which you'll see below so a web application doesn't need to be installed on your computer and it's used through a web browser this would be like Microsoft Office Office Online. So I often get the question from my students, hey, can I use Office Online to complete assignments? Well, Office Online is a web app, and this web app actually has a lot less of the features than the full version of the uh, Microsoft Office program. For example, in Office Online, let's say that you're using Microsoft Word in Office Online at office.com. Since you're using it through a web browser, you are not using a separate application to use Microsoft Word. You would be using Firefox or Chrome or whatever web application you use. This would give you very limited functionality using the programs through Office Online. That's because Microsoft would like you to purchase the full version of the program, which you would see on the um, desktop version, which is Microsoft Office 2016 or 2019. This goes the same for Photoshop, which is also a desktop application. Now you say, well, why would I use Office Online instead of using the full version of Microsoft Office? Well, Office Online gives you uh, a basically free option to use Microsoft Office. This uh, is replicated from Google as well, which they use the Google suite, which includes docs, sheets, and slides. So let's go over some of the disadvantages of using a web app first, and then we'll go into a couple of the advantages. So first off, disadvantages would be no internet, no access. As I mentioned in the previous example, if you're trying to use Microsoft Office online and you do not have internet access, you will not be able to use that program. But if you had Microsoft Office 2016 installed on your computer, you would still be able to use that program even if you didn't have internet access. Um, also, when you you're using a web app, you're using, again, the World Wide Web to navigate to these websites where the web app is displayed or available to you, you also have less security when you do that type of thing. So this would be equivalent to like uh, storing different files on the cloud. Yes, the, you do have access to the login and the information, but should that information get breached at all, your files would be at risk. The same sort of disadvantage lies with web apps as well. Let's now move on to the advantages. There are several advantages to using a web app as opposed to a desktop application. One of them would be uh, it does run in the cloud. So I talked about it, a disadvantage of it running in the cloud, but an advantage of it running in the cloud means that it could be accessed anywhere. And so this means that um, if you wanted to access your Microsoft Office documents from anywhere, even on a device that doesn't have Microsoft Office installed, you could just go to Office Online and you would access those applications. It's really no problem. Uh, also, there's no installation required. When you go to Office Online and you go to use your app, uh, use their app, web app there, you do not need to install anything. You just open it up right from the browser and it works all within the browser. So it's very accessible and no installation. The other thing is easy updates. You don't have to worry about updating your software all the time, which would require a uh, internet connection because that is already done 
uh, within the web app itself, and you don't have to download anything for that. And finally, the low cost option. So for people that do not have access to the full version of Microsoft Office, maybe they're not students, they um, you know don't want to spend the money for that application software, Office Online gives a free alternative to that. Same thing with uh, you know, your Google suite and those sorts of applica uh, office application software as well. Those also provide a free or low cost option. So I hope that this video has helped explain the differences between desktop applications and web apps and some of the advantages and disadvantages of using both of them. Uh, if this computer fundamentals video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, if you have any other questions, please put them in the comment box down below. And and finally, if you want to learn more about using computers, please check out my channel in which I have playlists on all of the Microsoft Office applications, as well as computer fundamentals and Windows 10 tutorials. So thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.